y'all. It's Rob with Z Paints. Had a couple people ask me to do a, a little bit of a video as I do my next project. So this is an 06 Mitsubishi Eclipse GT. It's mine. Y'all probably seen the uh, the other pictures of it. I've peeled all the dip off of it and I'm going to start over. Anyways, I've got it up on blocks, so it gives me a little more clearance underneath the car for spraying. Got everything taped off. I'm going to keep my same look of my eyebrows on the lights so I, I left the dip on the top of the lights and then taped off underneath of them. I've got the front grille taped. I do have paper all in behind it. Definitely want to do that so that you don't uh, spray your radiator. You spray your radiator it ain't going to work as well. One thing I do is I always spray with the hood up a little bit. Let's see if I can get this up here with just one hand. So in the process, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll tape off everything under the hood. And then I'll tape the upper edge. And I just set something in the center so that way when I lower the hood, it stays up a little bit. That way as I'm, I'm spraying, it'll wrap around these corners a little bit better. I think it gives a little bit better bond. Hold the mirrors off. Makes it a little easier to get the back side of them. Taped off the sunroof. Now usually when I tape my doors, at least on my car, I tape it so that, that way I can still open it in case I forget something or I decide I want to do the door jam, something along that lines. But as you can see, it's still all taped off solid. Rear deck, I also pull the, the gas cap cover, that way I can spray front, back, sides of that. Pulled my tail lights, I uh, wasn't sure how the xylene was going to affect the plastic on my brand new LED lights, so I just went ahead and pulled them off. So I've got the mirrors hanging and I taped off the front of the mirror and the front bezel. I'm going to leave it black. It's not going to be part of the car design. So anyways, that kind of gives you an idea of where the car sits right now, taped off. I'll uh, do some little short videos as I go and try and figure out how to, to patch them all together. I'm doing this on my phone. So anyways, I guess we'll, uh, we'll see you on the next coat. Alright, well, we've now got two light and one medium, so basically three coats of gray primer on the Eclipse. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Coming out real smooth. Nothing real, uh, no big surprises. Everything's laying out real well. So far, I've got a little less than a gallon on the car. That doesn't seem like a whole lot for uh, as far as plastic dipping goes. But remember, I'm a, this is only going to be a, a primer coat. Uh, we're going to put white over the top of this. Um, and then all of our other colors for our stripes. Mirrors are looking pretty good. Everything's coming out real nice and smooth as you can see. Got a little bit of sheen to it. This has been drying now. Oh five minutes or so. Those are my fog light bezels. There's the other mirror. Coming out pretty good. So uh, anyways we'll uh, keep going and uh, see y'all oh, probably after I've got the white coat on. Well as you can see the the car is whiter. Um, what I've done is I've gone around and only heavy whited the areas that are going to be fully white on the, the final. Now everything's got a couple of coats of white over the base gray that I shot so that accounts for the uh, the areas here like around the mirror where you can see that it's got white over it but really not as much. That's enough to give me my base for the uh, for the colors that will be going over the top of it which will be red and black. But the areas that are going to remain white such as in front of the tire, down around the fog light, center section up here on the hood. Those areas have about six coats of white on them. So you can kind of get an idea of where the, uh, the white's going to be going on the car. It's definitely going to be going up over, over the roof, down the back. Lower skirts are all going to be white. A good part of the uh, 
the back of the car is going to be white. Anyways, um, next step is I'm going to give this about an hour to dry up real well before I try putting any tape on top of it all. Then I'll start taping off for the uh, the red. So uh, I'll probably go ahead and shoot a, a video after the uh, after I get the tape on there for the red. And uh, then when I pull the tape for the red, I don't know. But um, oh, one thing that uh, never fails to happen. I'm not, I don't think the video is going to pick it up. It might just a touch, just right, right there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Never fails, you start spraying coats and a fly is going to land on top of something. Well, nothing like a black fly landing on top of white dip. Uh, of course, he didn't just land there and say, okay, now I'm here, I'm going to leave. He laid there, flipped over, and then continued to flap his wings so that he uh, definitely screwed the dip up. What I ended up doing was putting some thinner on my finger to uh, smooth the area out. Uh, that helped somewhat. This is now after I got the fly out, of course. Uh, I ended up finally taking a paintbrush and some real thick dip, basically unthinned, and brushing it into the divots. Um, let that dry it up. Took my finger again with a little thinner, smoothed that out, uh, and then ended up putting another four coats over the top of that entire area to uh, smooth it and blend it. And if you know you're looking forward, you can't see it. If you catch the light just right, which I don't know if the camera's showing at all. I mean, I can see it here. Uh, unless you're looking for it, it, you can't really see it. Uh, but it never fails. Wouldn't have been so bad if it had been black or red. Uh, but white, of course, it's going to show every little shadow. So anyways, I guess we'll see you all, uh, well, a couple seconds for, uh, for you, but probably another couple hours for me. All right, well, I got some taping done. Now, what we did is we taped off the ears that are going to remain white. Uh, so where you see the blue and some white paper and whatnot um, is all going to remain white. So what I'm getting ready to do is spray the red. But I want to give you all a, a little update on this. By the way, uh, this took us about five hours to get taped off. A little longer than uh, we anticipated, but we made some uh, made some changes, made some updates to it. There's the side. There's going to be a white streak runs all the way along from the hood to the back. Then these areas are that are blue that you're seeing are all going to be going to be white. Sorry about my hand in front of the camera there. The whole underskirt is going to be white. Now those little blue pieces of tape that you, you see here and there and there. Look at that. Wow, technology. Anyways, uh, that area I'm going to be spraying black. So those are just flags to me that I don't need to spray the red as much in that area. Don't bang your head. <laughs> so this gives you an idea. Of at least the part of the car is going to be white. So I'm getting ready to uh, to stir and spray some red, and we'll see what happens. All right, well, it's time to do another little short video here. I may put another one or two coats of, of red on it, um, but I figured I'd go ahead and shoot the video because when I do figure it's the last coat, I'm going to be peeling tape immediately after that, so y'all won't get to see any of the, uh, the last little bit of red with the uh, all the tape on it. So we'll do a quick walk around. Now remember, a lot of these places that are red are going to be black, like a lot of this hood area up in here. This is going to be a bunch of black, and then there's going to be some black and red stripes in this area, and you know, there. You like the graphics? Anyways. So it's coming out pretty good. Yeah, all the tape, I'm using the, uh, the 3M blue tape staying down real well. Uh, one of the tricks to the 3M Blue that I found is try not to over tighten your lines if you I'm using the 3 quarter for for my initial lay down if you try and pull it too tight even if it's laying flat initially it will want to lift up if you've got any little indentations on the car or anything 
make sure that you at those particular points you leave some slack and push it down in there you don't pull your tape tight and then try and push it down in and say oh, okay well it's stuck because it will lift especially once you hit it with one or two coats of of dip it's just going to get in there it's going to lift and what you're going to end up with is is fuzzy lines and now it, it's not overly bad but uh, if you're wanting nice sharp clean lines you, you definitely want to lay down if you'll notice everything's laying down if you'll see right in here see where that's lifting a little bit now that's not my edge that's just one of my tape down if you have something like that along the edge even no matter how hard you push that down okay they'll look like they'll lay down but if they've got little wrinkles in them that dip will get right up underneath it and you'll end up with little little spikes along your edge you know from four or five foot back you're not going to see them but uh, trust me you'll know every one of them's there so anyways there she is mostly red um, I'm not sure if I've still got some shadows or uh, if that's just something I'm seeing in the camera this stuff right along here uh, I really don't have that great of lighting in the garage Matter of fact, if you kind of hit the right angle, it kind of goes away. Uh, but it'll get at least one, maybe two more coats of, uh, of the red. And uh, then, like I say, on the last coat, I'll be peeling all the tape so I can get my nice clean lines. You definitely want to pull the tape when the lines are wet. Uh, give you a chance on getting the, the cleanest possible. Uh, once we do that, I'll come back, shoot another little video. And then we'll go back to probably another three or four hours of taping so I can tape over the red and get ready to shoot the black on the top of that. So uh, I guess we'll see you in just a second. All right, well, as promised, we've, uh, we've finished the last coat, done some peeling, some sections I left on because they're going to get other colors around it. But I got it peeled off. I'm going to have to let it set for about an hour. Let the uh, existing coats firm up enough before I'm going to worry about uh, or even attempt to put any more tape on the thing. And yes, my wife has chihuahuas. You can probably hear the background. And I'm tripping over stuff in the garage, but hey, what the heck. Again, this area here, this is all going to go black. Um, there's a white stripe that comes over the roof, and it'll have a black along the edge of it, and then more red, some black in there, that kind of stuff. The whole underskirt's going to remain white in the back. But anyways, that's uh, but we're uh, three days to get to this point. Well. Uh, two full days and halfway into the third day right now. Uh, total, I've probably got a good seven hours in, in taping. It just took us an hour to pull what tape we had to pull before we, uh, we re-tape it off for the, uh, for the black. So anyways, I guess we'll uh, see y'all in just a second. All right, well been a long 30 days but I get ready to put the last coat of black on the car so the next time you, you see it uh, we'll probably already go have it peeled but uh, the black's gone on pretty good there's a couple of spots it's a little light mostly from the sprayer or the person spraying not from the uh, the taping there's uh, so many little nooks and crannies and lines and arrows and that stuff that I just flat missed a couple of them. Like the underside of the spoiler, they're looking a tad red, but they'll cover up under this coat. So, I know I can't really tell much on it right now, but uh, we started out. At the beginning of all this, of course, I guess it's only been a couple minutes for y'all. The uh, car was gloss black. We took it a dark gray. Then it went white. 
then we taped off the white, sprayed it with red, then we peeled all the tape off, we taped off the red and white, got it sprayed with black, and uh, hopefully this thing uh, comes out. There's always that panic mode as you're, you're peeling the tape, especially at the last time. Um, so anyways, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens, and uh, maybe this will actually make it onto YouTube. If it fails, yeah, you probably won't even see this. Alright, well, here we are at the final installment. Got it done. I'll let you all be the judge of whether it came out alright or not. It's actually been a few days since I uh, I got it done. Got busy, got a little bit sidetracked. There are two places that I need to touch up where the tape kind of blew up on me. You can see one of them's right there. Tape kind of lifted and now I've got black on red. But overall, I think it turned out real good. The lines are all nice and sharp. Everything cut real nice. I can tell you it definitely draws a little more attention than my last job did. Uh, it kind of slowed me down a little bit. Because now every cop in the world knows which my car is. And since I'm running uh, straight pipes with an open exhaust all the way through, it's also very loud. But it sounds like it looks really mean and fast. So anyways, hopefully I'll be able to get all these, these videos all patched together and you'll be able to enjoy this nice little video with my rambling in the background. If you got any questions, please uh, feel free to drop a comment. This isn't for everyone's liking. But uh, I like it. So y'all have a great day. This is Rob at Z-Paints. Ah.